hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this amazing hair growth oil for extreme hair growth so if you're interested you know what to do grab a seat and let's get into it the first ingredient you're going to need is onion so you can use any onion that you have so this is what i have and this is what i'm going to be using so i started off by removing the skin then i'm going to go ahead and cut the onion into small pieces onion is very beneficial for our hair it stimulates hair growth it helps to treat alopecia and hair loss it's amazing for infection on the scalp once i'm done cutting the onion i went ahead and transferred it to a mason jar Our next ingredient is aloe vera so you can use aloe vera powder if you don't have fresh aloe vera so I just went ahead and cut the aloe vera into small pieces so if your scalp is sensitive to aloe vera whenever you apply it to your scalp if you notice your scalp is itchy whenever you apply aloe vera to your scalp so basically what you need to do is cut the aloe vera and soak it in warm water for about 45 minutes aloe vera is amazing for hair growth it increases blood circulation to the scalp which leads to hair growth it adds shine to your hair it's amazing at treating dandruff it's one of the best natural ingredients for hair growth once i'm done cutting the aloe vera i'm going to transfer it into a mason jar I'm going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of cloves so cloves is my favorite ingredient for hair growth it's so powerful and very effective when it comes to hair growth it promotes hair growth it adds shine to your hair it's amazing at treating dandruffs it prevents premature graying it reduces hair loss it clean and smooth the scalp Next, I'm going to go ahead and add olive oil. You can add any oil of your choice. I'm also going to be adding coconut oil as well. The clove that we added earlier on, it's going to help to get rid of the onion smell. So if you don't like the smell of onion, I would suggest you should add clove to this hair growth oil. Once I'm done adding all the ingredients, I went ahead and mixed them together. Now I'm going to go ahead and add hot water into a pot, then I'm going to place the mason jar in the hot water, then I'm going to transfer the pot to the cooker. I'm going to allow it to slowly cook for about 45 minutes. So guys, if you're still watching this video and yet you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. After 45 minutes, this is how it looks like. I went ahead and off the cooker. I'm going to allow it to cool down. Once it's cooled down, I'm going to go ahead and separate the oil. So I went ahead and add rosemary and peppermint essential oil because I don't want that onion smell. So if you want to suppress the onion smell, you can go ahead and add your essential oil. So now I just went ahead to transfer it to my applicator bottle for easy use. Now your hair growth oil is ready to be used and this is how it looks like. This oil is super powerful, it contains amazing benefits, keep your hair and scalp super healthy. Healthy scalp means healthy hair growth. So 
I'm going to be using this oil as a hot oil treatment. So as you guys can see, she has a protective style at the moment. The hair is really dirty. So you can wash your hair if you have a protective style as well. So I'm going to be applying the oil to a scalp. So you want to make sure that the oil penetrates to your scalp. Then I'm going to go ahead and massage the scalp as this helps to promote hair growth. This oil can be used as a pre-pull. You can add it to your shampoo or your deep treatment. I wouldn't advise you should apply it to your protective style. Remember that we added onion and we all know that onion smell are very strong and you don't want to be walking around smelling like onion. So this is the best way to use it as a hot oil treatment as this will help to treat your scalp and fight against scalp irritation that you may have. So apply it to your scalp. Make sure the oil is still hot before applying it to your scalp. This is the reason why it's called hot oil treatment. So I'm using my massaging brush to massage the scalp. If you don't have this massaging brush, you can also use your fingers to massage the oil to your scalp as well. This oil is amazing, especially if you're experiencing hair loss. A study have shown that onion can prevent hair loss and improve hair growth as well. So if you're experiencing hair loss on your edges, what you want to do is apply some of the oil to your edges, massage it in for a few minutes, then you want to leave it in overnight, then you can wash it out the next day. What I love about this oil is that not only does it help to treat your scalp if you have any scalp irritation, such as itchy scalp, dandruffs or flaky scalp, it also helps to grow your hair and prevent hair loss. As I mentioned before, you can also use this oil as a pre-shampoo treatment. So before your wash day, what you want to do is apply the oil to your scalp and your hair, then wash it out before you apply your shampoo. You can also use this egg growth oil treatment as an overnight treatment. Apply it to your hair before bedtime, cover your hair with a shower cap, and then you can wash it out the next day. I also add some of this oil to my deep treatment as well. You can use this oil once a month to help to treat your scalp. This hair growth treatment is mainly beneficial for those that keep the protective style for a very long period of time. It's also beneficial for those that have scalp issues and hair loss problem. So once I'm done massaging the scalp, I'm going to cover the hair with a shower cap for about 45 minutes. After 45 minutes, you can go ahead and wash it out. You can store this oil in a cool, dry place. So guys, we have come to the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for the love and support on this channel. If you have any question, don't hesitate to drop the comment in the comment section and I'll try my best to reply back to every single one of you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on Sunday. Make sure to turn on the post notification so you don't miss my Sunday post. So thank you guys and I'll see you guys on Sunday. Bye-bye.